Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue talking about the NFL Combine. Hopefully you guys watched all the defensive performances. Nolan Smith had himself like an all-time kind of day. And that's why we watch these things. We get real excited about these crazy athletes. We like to learn as much as we can about these players before we draft them. So today we're going to get into the offensive players. We're just going to cover wide receiver running back and tight end today quarterbacks are very easy most people really only care about like bryce young's height i feel like that's recycled news so we're not even going to cover it but today we're just going to do wide receiver running back tight end keep it easy i'm going to give you the five players i'm most excited to watch and what i'm specifically looking for while watching these players all right first up we have one of the most confusing players in the entire draft quentin johnston Looks like a prototypical X receiver. We really need to see his testing numbers. We've heard he's a very rare athlete. So we're real interested in seeing his 40 time. We've heard around a 4-3 for this guy. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I see a 4-3, but that's why we watch. I'm also curious to see what his vertical is. I've read that in high school, he had over a 40 inch vertical. We'll see what kind of athlete he is. And then lastly, because he looks clumsy at times, I want to see him just in the field drills. Does he look like a natural wide receiver or is he just a combined freaky athlete? Next up, we have Keishon Butte. This is a player that has a little bit of character concerns. He's had a confusing college career. I'm trying to get a good gauge as to what NFL teams think of this guy. So I want to see what kind of interviews he has and what the beat writers have to say about this guy. I'm also curious about his 40 time. He said he was going to run a 4-3. He looks really explosive on tape. I don't know if it's a 4-3, but I'm looking forward to seeing what it actually is. And then lastly, he's been a hard person to compare to anybody. I really want to see what his height and weight is. You can see him listed at various different heights and weights. I want to get a definitive number. Zay Flowers is up next. This is the sleeper that is no longer a sleeper. He's pretty much everyone's favorite receiver. I want to see his 40 time. He said he was going to run a 4-3. Let's see it. I'm also curious to see what his vertical and his broad jump is. We know he's agile. We know he's fast. I want to see how explosive he is. He looks like he can jump on tape. I want to get a good number on that vertical. And then lastly, just out of curiosity, I want to see his agility scores. He's very agile. I think he might be one of the most agile in the class. So I want to see him perform like it. Josh Downs is another one of my favorite players in the draft. He is a little bit undersized and he's a slot receiver. I want to see what his height and weight actually are. Let's put a definitive number on it. I also want to see what his 40 time is. He's a very explosive player. I could see it range anywhere from like 445 to maybe a 435. And then lastly, he doesn't look like he has a crazy vertical. I want to see the lower body explosive tests. I want to see the broad jump. I want to see the vertical. Let's see how powerful those legs are. Our final wide receiver that we're excited about is Jordan Addison. This is potentially the wide receiver one in the entire class. I'm real curious to see what his height and weight is. He is a little bit on the slimmer side. So let's hope he gets that weight up a little bit for the combine. Next, I want to see what his 40 is. He's super explosive very fast i think it's going to be mid four threes maybe like a four three nine at worst and then finally i also want to see his vertical and broad jump i want to see how explosive the lower extremities are for this guy he is a little bit slimmer a little bit smaller i want to see some explosion out of him moving on to the running backs we have one of my favorite players in the entire draft jameer gibbs from alabama he's a crazy pass catching running back we really want to see some good weight and height we're hoping that he could project a big workload at the next level if he weighs in at like 190 pounds we just don't see it happening. So if we could get him over like 205 pounds, that would be excellent. Next, I want to see his 40 time. I'm guessing it's going to be 4-4 at worst. He's a really explosive player. Let's see what it is. And then I just want to see how silky smooth he is in the field drills. Does he look like the best running back in the class not named Bijan? I think he may. We'll see. Bijan Robinson is a clear running back one in this class. His only knock is his long speed. I want to see his 40 time. I'm not overly concerned with what it is. I'm just excited to see him run it. He has very powerful legs. I want to see his vertical as well. If he could get over like 40 inches, that would be crazy. And then lastly, I want to see his interviews. I'm sure all 32 teams are interested in him. I want to see if we can get a little tell as to what team's going to draft him in the first round. Arguably the fastest player in the entire class is Devon A-Chain. He does come in really short and small. I want to see the height and weight. I'd like to see him get a bigger workload in the NFL. So if we could get his BMI up around 30, that would be awesome. We want to see him gain weight. He played at 185 pounds. That's way too small. And then obviously I want to see if his 40 is a 4-2. He is that kind of player. So let's see it. And then I want to see what kind of power his lower body has. I know he's fast, but I want to see some powerful legs. I want to see a good vertical as well as a broad jump. John Tucker has a lot to gain this weekend. He is very explosive on tape. I think we're going to see a 4-4 or better in the 40 yard dash. He isn't the most agile player, so I do want to see his agility scores as well as like his field drills. I want to make sure he is shifty and not just a speedster. And then lastly, I'm a little curious about his height and weight. He is pretty jacked up 
but he does look short on tape. I'm not too concerned or anything. I'm just curious. Zach Charbonnet is a super interesting player. He has a three down skill set, but he is a little bit slower. I want to see what his 40 time is. I don't think a bad 40 time will knock his draft stock, but I just want to see what kind of speed this guy's playing with. I also want to see him in the field drills. A lot of people have him as their RB3 in this class. I want to make sure he looks like that on the field. And then lastly, I want to see his height and weight. He kind of looks like a Greek god. He's a little bit taller than Bijan, and he's jacked up as all hell. If he comes in at like 6'1", 225, that's crazy numbers. He definitely projects as like a bell cow kind of guy at the next level. Moving on to the tight ends, we have Michael Mayer. This is a lot of people's tight end one in the class. He does move a little bit slow. I want to see what his 40 time looks like. I also want to see him in the agility test. I want to make sure he can move really well and fluid for his body size. And then out of curiosity, I want to see what his vertical is. I want to make sure he has powerful legs at his position. He wins a lot of the contested catches, so I just want to put a number on that vert. Dalton Kincaid is in contention for tight end one right now. He's not going to be doing any of the combine testing this weekend. Word is he has a little bit of a back injury going on. So hopefully his medicals are clear, but I'm really interested to see what the interviews look like. Is there first round buzz for this guy, which there currently is. And then I want to see what his height and weight is. We can't really learn too much about him since he's not testing this weekend. Next up, we have the freak himself. Darnell Washington at six foot seven, 270 ish pounds. I want to make sure those numbers are accurate. He looks like a tackle. He's probably going to come in with that weight. I wouldn't be surprised. I also want to see how fast he's moving at that size. He looks really fast on the field. It's kind of crazy. And then I want to make sure he looks fluid in the field drills. Does he look the part as like a receiving tight end or is he just going to block at the next level? Next, we're excited about Luke Musgrave. He's going to test really well. That is his big thing. He's a really rare athlete at his size. We want to see what his 40 time is he said he might run a mid 4-4 i don't know about that we'll see i also want to see him in the field drills he doesn't have too much tape so we want to see these guys on the field and then lastly i just want to see all of his measurements we don't know too much about this guy so we want to get as much information as we can this weekend we're getting a lot of buzz about tucker craft so we want to learn as much as we can about this player as well just like we did with musgrave he's getting some hype i want to see what his 40 time looks like i also want to see him in the field drills does he look like one of the top tight ends in the class you can really tell by the field drills who are the good players and who aren't and then lastly again we want to see all of his measurements we want to learn as much as we can about this player all right fellas that's all i have for you today those are the players i'm most excited about this weekend of course there's a long list of people that i'm gonna be watching but these are the ones that spark my interest the most in the description down below i'll add some of the things that i'm looking for as well hopefully you guys tune into the combine and you look for some of the things that i'm looking for at some point early next week we're gonna do a combine reaction who are the big winners this weekend and who are the losers i'm sure we're gonna get some surprises in the next couple days so keep a lookout for that video all right fellas i'll catch you in the next one